Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be building a universal but compact outfeed and overhang support system for my small single garage workshop. So, as most of my channel followers are aware, I am trying to build the ultimate small workshop. And to achieve this goal, multifunctionality and compact design needs to be my main consideration when designing my projects. For example, today I need outfeed support for my table saw. But when designing the project, I need to consider other possible uses for such a project to get the most amount of functionality out of it. Other possible uses for a table saw outfeed system could be an outfeed system for my thickness planer or even a bandsaw if I ever decide to get one. It can also act as overhang support when I need to saw or cross cut long stock on my mitre saw or drill long stock on my drill press. But to have this functionality the project would need to be height adjustable because not all my machines have the same bed height, especially in the case of the drill where the bed is height adjustable itself. Another consideration is size. In the case of an outfit or overhang support system, I would say the larger the better. But in a small workshop, every bit of space is precious. So I want to make this project collapsible so that it can be folded up and stored out the way when it is not being used. So before I get started, I'm going to try and keep this project as simple as possible. I'm using mostly standard lumber sizes and the project is just going to screw together. At the end of the video, as always, if you want plans, let me know in the comment section down below and I will add some to my plans website. For the people that have been asking for plans for the chemical roundabout and the ultimate tool storage unit, those plans are live and I will link it in the description of this video. You can check it out there. This project has the potential to be a small workshop game changer because besides being an outfeed and overhang support system, I've designed it to also function as a basic saw horse, giving it maximum functionality. So my multifunctional outfeed system is going to consist out of three main components, the housings, the adjustable beds and the folding mechanism. I'm starting by assembling the housings that will act as the main body of this project. It will give me a frame for attaching the folding mechanism and also act as a guide system for the adjustable beds. So for a bit more clarity at this stage, I'm going to be assembling two housings. In between the two housings, I'm going to add the folding mechanism. The folding mechanism is what's going to allow me to collapse this project when it is not being used. So decreasing its footprint and saving valuable workshop space. Then into the housing, which is pretty much just a wooden frame or box with a basic guide system, I'm going to be installing the adjustable beds. The adjustable beds will be able to adjust to the height of the tool I'm working on and so provide adequate support. Now considering I am building this project using wood and wood moves, I need to allow enough play within the guide system to accommodate the adjustable bed and prevent it from pinching. So at this point you should be able to see the very basic guide system built into the wooden housing.
Right, so that's the first main component now assembled, the housings. Into the housings, I'm going to install the adjustable beds that will be guided using the very basic guide system that I built into the housing. When the beds are at their required height, they can be locked in place and the unit can be used. In between the two main housings, I'm going to add the folding mechanism that will allow me to fold up the unit into a more compact state when I'm not using it and I want to store it. So next, I'm going to add that folding mechanism before adding the adjustable beds. The folding mechanism itself is not really going to be subjected to a lot of strain or load so I didn't feel the need to make it too complicated. Instead it's just going to be four cross braces. Each cross brace is going to have three hinge points allowing it to fold up or collapse. Right, so that's the housings with the folding mechanism installed and as you can see when it's folded up the footprint is quite small. I will add some locks to keep the unit in its closed position so I can store it where it will be out the way. I'll then also add a locking mechanism to keep the unit in its open or working position. So the adjustable beds will then adjust to whatever the height is of the tool I'm working on and provide outfeed or overhang support for narrow stock in this direction or wide stock in this direction. It can also function as a compact saw horse trestle style table which even further extends its functionality. So next up I'm going to add some caster wheels to make the unit mobile before jumping on the adjustable beds. I am using quite a bit of hardware to build this project like caster wheels, hinges and toggle latches. If you guys are looking at building your own version of this project, I will add all of these to my Amazon storefront and link it down below in the description of this video so you guys can check it out there if you are looking for it. Right, so next up is the adjustable bed which will pretty much just slide into the guide system on the housing and be able to lock in place when it is at the height I want to use it.
Okay, so this is pretty much the adjustable mechanism that's going to allow me to set the height on the bed. And once I have it at the desired height, I'm going to add twist locks over here or thumb screws that will allow me to lock the bed in place. So next up, I'm going to add the beds. Okay, so this is now the first half of the bed installed and originally I was going to install rollers on top of the bed to provide the low friction support I need for an outfeed support system. But rollers would restrict the project to only being able to operate in this direction. And as I said, I want to be able to turn the project on its side to provide outfeed support for wider stock. So instead of rollers, I am going to use multiple small swivel casters. Now the casters will, as I said, do a great job at giving me the low friction surface or support that I need to use this as an outfeed support system. But when I want to use it as an overhang support system or even as a basic sawhorse, the low friction surface is less than ideal. So before installing the casters, I'm going to add caps that can fold over the casters to give me the low friction surface I need when I want to use this as a sawhorse or as overhang support for, let's say, my mitre saw. Okay, so that's pretty much the wooden component finished. Next, before I can test the unit, I need to add all my hardware, like the casters and the locking mechanisms. Okay, so that's the bed locks now installed. The last piece of hardware before I can test the unit is a locking mechanism that will keep the unit in its working position. So to keep the folding mechanism open. And yeah, once again, I'm going to keep it very simple because it doesn't require a lot of strength to keep the folding mechanism in its working position. 
So to keep the folding mechanism in its open or working position, I'm going to install a very simple latch on the inside here. So when it is folded open, I can engage the latch and it will keep it in its open or working position. Now, as you can see, it doesn't require a lot of force to keep it in this position, so the latch doesn't have to be very complicated at all. So what I'm going to do on the opposite side of the hinge, I'm going to install a little latch like that. When it is like that, I'll be able to fold the folding mechanism and when I engage it like that, it won't be able to fold. Nice and straightforward. And to prevent this from being able to freely rotate, I'm just going to install a little grommet over there. Okay guys, so that's my collapsible, somewhat universal outfeed and overhang support system for small workshops. All that's left now is to test to see if it works. Right, so that's pretty much it for my small shop helper. Fold it up, it's not very big and it can be stored out the way. I can even store it up against the wall because it's not crazy heavy. It's definitely a functional addition to my workshop. It works well as an outfit support system, which was the original intent behind the design, and it also brings some other functions to the table. It might not look fantastic, but considering I cooked this design up in a couple of days, I am quite pleased with the results. But what do you guys think? Functional addition to a small workshop or over-engineered and unnecessary? Maybe there's some things you guys would have done differently. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Also remember, let me know if you want plans for this project and I can add some to my plans website. When I do, I will link it in the first comment of this video so you can check it out there. Now the main reason I took the time to build this outfit support system is because I am planning an overhead lumber rack. If you guys remember my recent shop talk video, I mentioned that I don't want anything on the floor that isn't mobile. For my vision for my new workshop, I want a lot of freedom to move around. So my lumber storage needs to go overhead. And with that comes the end of this video. If you aren't subscribed yet and you want to see my lumber rack or any of my future projects that I build in the pursuit of the ultimate small single garage woodworking workshop, you should do that now. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time. Cheers.